What's up, fighting game fans? This is Vicious765 here, and I want to talk a little bit about E3. Um, now, I'm just going to go ahead and get it out of the way. I'm not going to be talking about anything other but fighters. <laughs> anything other than fighters um, for this segment here. Um, though there's a lot of things I'm excited for and hope to see at E3. I want to talk about fighters really quickly. So um, Tekken 7 is going to be there, like if you've been paying attention at all to any fighting game websites. Um, as a matter of fact, if you're looking at this photo that I have up, you will see that um, this is actually the photo that they got on display at E3 for um, Tekken 7. Which is supposed to have something big going on on the 16th um, from what I hear. And I can't wait to see it. Um, my predictions are they're either going to talk about the arcade release for Tekken 7 FR. Or they're going to reveal some characters. Or you know what it could be? They could reveal a character and say tell us when like the Tekken 7 FR arcade release date is. Um, probably not console release date. I think people are jumping the gun on that. I was looking at the Fighters Generation, and it was like, uh, this could mean possible console release date. Mm, I wouldn't say that, since Tekken 7 FR hasn't made it to arcades yet, and they said the new characters are coming on... They're gonna update like they have been at Tekken 7 Vanilla, you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure I heard that from Michael Murray, but whatever. But, uh, is supposed to have 10 plus games at, uh, E3, apparently. Um... I guess it wouldn't be too out of the question to say that maybe Soul Calibur 6 might be a game. Who knows? I mean, 10 plus games, let's count on our fingers how many games Namco could be revealing. Okay, so we got Tekken. We got maybe another One Piece game, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Um, what else could they come out with? A Gundam game that's not going to hit the U.S., so scratch that. Um... I don't know what else they could come out with, man. Soul Calibur 6. Maybe another anime fighter? Well, Berserk is uh, going to be a game, so yeah, you never know. It could be a bunch of anime games. Uh, but I really hope that Soul Calibur 6 makes it. Uh, because it's about time for another Soul Calibur game. You know, besides these cheap fucking... You know, online only or fucking mobile games. That's getting a little out of hand. Um, maybe, you know, Injustice 2, I don't really care. Because, I mean, I didn't care for the original Injustice. And it just didn't captivate me. A character I wanted to play with, Killer Frost, was actually not very cool. Um, no pun intended. Like, she didn't have any, like, real cool ice attacks or anything like that. And... The game itself just didn't really, like, unblockable environmentals. Get out of here. And the Joker wasn't that good to me, and yada, yada, yada. Um, but, I mean, basically what I'm trying to get through to you is I don't care about Injustice 2 that much, especially since they said they're going to be putting gears in it. A lot of people uh, say that the way they're going to do it is going to be somewhat like gyms in Street Fighter Cross Tekken, if you guys remember that. But really, it sounds like it's going to be more akin to um, Soul Calibur 4. Where, um, you remember in Soul Calibur 4 when you could, like, give different armor to um, your um, character and p equip different weapons and get different perks and all that shit? That's what it sounds like. Um, but apparently, they're going to have different moves, so it's going to be... Uh, close to the variation system in Mortal Kombat X, which, like I said before, well, a long time ago, I think that's kind of silly. Like, they could just make a character with, like, a big move set, and, you know, it would be more technical because of that. I don't think it's more technical that you separate it, because then you just know one is good, one is okay, and the other is bad. You know what I mean? But, um, moving on... Um, was there anything else? Marvel vs. Capcom 4 is a stretch. Like, that's something I would hope for. Because Disney released the video game rights to Marvel. And we haven't received word that, you know, anybody has bought them yet. From what I understand. But since they released the rights to making a video game uh, with Marvel characters. Hopefully, maybe Capcom made a smart decision. 
and they actually bought the rights so they can make Marvel vs. Capcom 4, 5, and 6 if they wanted to. But um, we'll see. Oh, but also I have a story to tell. Um, <laughs> you know, I live in Indiana. I live in the Midwest, and it is really fucking whack. Um, we got this uh, gaming, this gaming anime comic book convention that's about to happen here soon. I don't remember if it's like in August or this month or what. But I've never been to a convention myself, but I, I was looking to see what games that they had that, you know, they might have a tournament for. They're all fucking MOBAs, and it's like, Jesus, this is what it's come to. We've come to, you know, playing these games that were meant for internet play, like, right next to each other for money. Come on. But, I mean, I know it sounds silly since, you know, I like fighting games and whatnot, but, you know, it's just silly that they got the latest MOBAs and these arena games, but, you know, when I look to see the fighting games, you know, I, I'm not looking for Street Fighter Five at first. At first, I look for, like, Blaze Blue or just anything, and I came across Tekken, and I'll get to that here in a second, but they didn't have Street Fighter at all, which was funny, but... Tekken 5, they're going to have Tekken 5, an uh, arcade cabinet of Tekken 5 vanilla there. There's going to be a small tournament for that for not, I don't know what the prize would be. They didn't really say anything. It's just like $15 to enter and whatnot. But when I seen that it was a Tekken 5 arcade cabinet, oh my God, fuck Indiana. I swear to God, like this is how stupid that is. Like for those who don't know, Tekken 5 came out in 2005. I think the arcade came out in 2004 or something like that. Dude, uh, so listen. They, this this is what it means to me. Basically, that means they probably think Tekken 5 is the most recent Tekken that's available to play. Tekken 5 Vanilla. Which, these are the games that have came out since Tekken 5. Tekken 5 DR, um, Tekken 6, Tekken 6 BR, if you're going off arcades. And then there's Tekken Tag 2 and Tekken Tag HD. You know what I mean? Fuck, even Tekken Prologue, like, that demo of a game, you know? They chose Tekken 5 Vanilla Arcade Cabinet. The sad thing is, is it's probably been on the property for, like, two years or some shit like that. This old-ass arcade cabinet. It's like they didn't know. It's like they don't realize. This is a gaming anime convention. It's like they don't realize that PS3 exists and Tekken 5 DR and Tekken 6 and Tekken Tag HD and Tekken Tag 2 exist. Oh, it pisses me off. Like, I guess I shouldn't be pissed since it's the only fighting game that I've seen there. But to see that it's that arcade cabinet, when knowing good and damn well they could just have a fucking flat screen TV that costs less than fucking $200 and just play Tekken Tag 2 or Tekken 6. Oh my god, Indiana sucks. But that's all I had to say. I'll catch you guys later.